Introducing the Copilot Challenge. I want you to go to Bing, chat, and search for and try and find out the information about Copilot. What is the difference between Microsoft 365 Copilot and Viva Copilot? And what is the difference between product families and products? And, and where's all the licensing? See if you can come up with a prompt and come back with that information. Now, my Bing chat session didn't go so well. I wasn't quite satisfied with the answers. Take a look at this. So I started off with a prompt, explain what Microsoft 365 Copilot is uh, and Viva and Copilot are, uh, what the difference are between the product family, the features in the product and the difference in licensing. So interesting prompts coming back here, um, that it, it came back with AI powered feature for 365 Copilot. Um, it also came back with a description for Viva Copilot and that it was built on Microsoft 365's Copilot system. I found that interesting. Uh, it talked about the licensing for 365 Copilot, but uh, didn't have any mention there of Viva. And then it talked about uh, Bing. So I came back with this question. How much is the Viva Copilot and is it included in 365 licensing? Now it, it reiterated the 365 Copilot license. It um, also talked about the licensing uh, that's required, but that there was no mention of Viva pricing for Copilot at this point. I wanted to clarify, was Viva Copilot, or is it a separate product to the 365 Copilot? Thought this would be a reasonably simple answer. Uh, and yes, it, it is separate, but it is built on the 365 Copilot system. There it is again, re-emphasizing what it relies on. Talked a little bit about one of the features there for assisting leadership. What is the difference for 365 Copilot and the Copilot for Microsoft Teams? Trying to drive at the difference between the product family and the product uh, and its feature. And so really didn't really come back with a good answer there. Is Copilot a feature or a product? Thought I'd just go really straight to it and see if we can understand the difference between that. Um, it really went back into saying it was a feature and it's personalized and as a feature it is for, for teams um, but it struggled a bit with those other um, terms. Interestingly it positioned Microsoft Viva Copilot to be built on the Microsoft 365 Copilot technology so it feels like it's something within something else. And really when I pressed further to try and find out the difference between products and features and product families, it really didn't understand. I guess it's very new at this point as, as Bing Chat has to go out and find the answers um, on the net. And this is where the challenges begin for Bing Chat, of course, that it does have to try and find that information and it, there will be problems. The first problem is that Copilot is a product family as well as a product, as well as a feature. So it's going to need to understand when people are asking about it, which co-pilot and try and construct that so that it can make sense of the answer. A mention of the word co-pilot uh, will be in close proximity to maybe Microsoft 365 or the product, Microsoft Teams. Uh, and so it needs to understand what to do with that. Secondly, there are two ways that Copilot seems to be talked about at the moment, uh, especially in this space. Uh, first of all, it's uh, product name and then Copilot, Microsoft 365 Copilot. But sometimes we also see Copilot in Microsoft 365. So knowing what to do with that and come back with a satisfactory answer. And the third problem I see is also the official sources and trying to come back with information that um, is authoritative. Now, I'm not a chat GPT expert by any sense of the means. I don't know how this AI knows what an authoritative source is and how it prioritizes that over the top of sources from, I don't know, articles, news articles, people that have got a higher SEO uh, and have got their articles out before others, sometimes containing speculation and assumptions. Now I did it the manual way after not getting that satisfactory answer. I went to some uh, official blog sources and also a conversation on LinkedIn from a Microsoft employee in the employee experience space. Trying to find information out about the difference of Microsoft 365 Copilot and Microsoft Viva Copilot and how this all fits together in terms of a licensing um, construct as well. So I'll start with Microsoft Viva. 
Microsoft Viva Copilot is a family of Copilot products in Microsoft Viva. So an example of a product uh, is Topics. Microsoft Topics will use Copilot. And we talked about that or refer to it as Copilot in Topics. Now we learn from the LinkedIn conversation that uh, the Copilot or rather, let me do this properly, Microsoft 365, nope, Microsoft 365 Viva Copilot will be included in the Viva Premium Suite license cost. Now that's $12 US per user per month, and it's not gonna be anything in addition to that. You will use, be able to use the Copilot features inside the different Viva products. Microsoft 365 Copilot is a product family for Copilots used with other Microsoft 365 products. An example of that is Copilot in Microsoft Teams. Now we know about the licensing there that it is $30 US per user per month. You will need to have a E3 or E5 subscription of Microsoft 365 or a business standard or business premium subscription. So some of you will have an uplift if you want to take advantage of it. Microsoft 365 Copilot is not included in any existing licensing. Will we see an E7? Who knows? So let's try and put that in a pictorial, a graphical, a visual sense. Let's go to the board. What have we got at the top? We've got uh, the technology. Now this is Copilot running using OpenAI's ChatGPT, various other things to try and come back uh, with the answers. You know, leveraging the large language model. We've seen that. We've seen the diagrams. I'll, I'll flash it up on the screen. But it's the technology that is used across the various different Microsoft products that will use Copilot. Let's come down the level, starting with Microsoft 365 Copilot. That is a product family of Copilots, and the Copilot in Microsoft Teams is a product. So Copilot in Microsoft Teams um, has a feature called Copilot in Meeting Chat. You see that flow? Microsoft 365 Copilot is the product family, Copilot in Teams is the product, and the feature is Copilot in Meeting Chat. Let's have a look at that from the Viva perspective. We've got Microsoft Viva Copilot, that's the product family. You've got Copilot in Topics or Engage, and that is the Copilot in the product. And then you have the feature Copilot in Answers. Uh, and Answers is a combination of using Topics and Engage. So, um, can you see the levels there and how this works? And how it might be confusing for poor old Bing and others like us, the humans, to be able to make sense of Copilot. Now my diagram is incomplete. Um, I'm thinking of talking about it like it's a family tree. You can see, you know, starting from right up top down to product families, products and features, how a family tree might make sense as an analogy. Now, I'm not a genealogist. I don't really have the desire to try and pull together some massive tree diagram of all the different products and product families and features that are using Copilot. Challenge is out there for someone else to do that. I'll pass. But it has been an interesting exercise to, to dive in and try and understand this and try and come up with some way to explain it. Thank you to Leslie Crook and Tom Arbuthnot for having this conversation on the socials with me to try and make sense of it and where it all fits in. So how is your prompt coming along with uh, the co-pilot challenge. Do you think you can take what you know now, or um, maybe some of the questions you still have, put together a prompt and come back with something that Bing Chat will, will actually give us the answers? If you want to share your sessions, your screenshots, your videos and the like, then tag me on those. Um, mention me on Twitter at, at Daryl AAS. I'm a bit greedy with my, my letters, but I'll flash that up on the screen. Um, on threads, it's Daryl C. Webster, and you'll also find me on LinkedIn. Good luck.